Hey guys, it's FLW Tour Pro Andrew Upshaw. Today, I'm gonna talk to you about a little topwater tip that'll help you not only fish more effectively, but keep your hooks from hanging into your braid. So one of the things that I like to do is fish and braid for my topwater. You know, the, there's a couple different reasons for that. First reason is, is when you make that really long cast, how many times have you made that long cast and the fish is eaten at the very end of your cast? If you're using mono, you're not gonna land that fish most of the time unless he just completely engulfs the bait. With the braid, you actually get that hook set the way you need it to. In this case, I'm using a mono leader though. So as you can tell, this is a very, very short leader with a loop knot tied to the bait. And okay, so people are gonna say, well, why do you have such a short leader? You know, extra knots, the whole mindset of extra knots, you're gonna break off more fish, that so and so forth. In this case, you see how stiff that mono is? Every time I try to bend it, I can't. Okay, so in the case of braid, look how limp this is. I mean, it just, you can bend it, you can turn it, you can do whatever you want. So when you're walking a topwater with braid, what it has, has a tendency to do is wrap around that front hook. Your line will wrap around that front hook and you can't get it dislodged while you're walking it. Whenever you hook that mono on your first hook like that, if you shake your rod violently whenever it's out there on the cast, it'll just unhook itself just like that. So you'll actually get more, of, you know, you'll make more cast and have more effective presentation by using that short mono leader. In this case, I'm using a 17 pound leader. I'm tying, tying an Alberto knot right here, my mono uh, to braid knot. It's really small, but in the case of uh, using the leader, you don't have to use like a four, six, eight foot leader like you see when you're using a spinning rod. In this case, I'm using really about an eight to 10 inch leader. And what this does is whenever you load up to make a cast, you know, I always like to have enough line out there so the knot never even touches my guides ever. So in this case, I can make my cast and you never have interference with the knot. So that's one thing. So what this is gonna do by using that, that little short mono leader is gonna actually get you more effective casts. It's gonna be, help you land more fish because first off, the more cast you can make effectively, the more fish you're gonna put in the boat. But the other thing is, is the little loop knot. So I tie one little loop knot. It's, you know, I tried when I was a kid to tie a knot that I think it was the traditional loop knot, but I ended up tying it my own way and it's super easy and effective. And I never broken this knot actually ever. Um, it's super, super strong for mono braid, not so much, it slips a little bit but mono, you just can't seem to break it. So make sure you tie that loop knot, it'll get you a little bit more action. Tie you a, a real nice short mono leader the next time you're fishing braid for a top water, and I promise you, you're gonna put a lot more fish in the boat, especially if you tie on the sexy dog from Strike King.